Hey, this is Joel Persinger, the gun guy. Thank you very much for watching my videos. I really deeply appreciate it, and so does my son. We're out here on the P2K range again, on the training range, and this time I have my favorite defensive pistol with me, my 1911. I've mentioned the fact that I'm a 1911 guy a bunch of times in my videos, and I've had this one most of my adult life. I bought it, it's, uh, I think, in 1978 or something like that for $186.86, brand new. Boy, have prices changed. Let's make sure it's unloaded, though. First of all, we have an unloaded magazine, so I'll put that in my pocket. And let's lock the slide back. I have nothing in the chamber. I can see an empty chamber there. I can look down through the gun, nothing in there. I stick my finger up in the mag well. There's nothing up in there. I know that I have a completely safe and unloaded firearm. Now this is a 70 series Colt Combat Commander. It's an all steel pistol. I bought it, as I said, brand new way back when. And I've been shooting this thing uh, almost endlessly ever since. I've carried it for work uh, for many years and, and done a lot of things with it. It's been a terrific pistol for me and I just absolutely fell in love with the thing. Now, I will tell you that once in a while you'll wear these things out. I mean, I don't know how many thousands and thousands of rounds I've put through it and many classes I've taught on, the, uh, on this range and other ranges where I've had an open class and lots of people around it. I've had to demonstrate certain things. I've used this gun and I've carried this gun and I've, I've demonstrated with it. And so they've put up many, many thousands of rounds through it. And I got it to the point where it was kind of loosey goosey and it was starting to get worn out. So I took it to a gunsmith friend of mine, a guy named Mike Hagan. And I said, Mike, what can you do to help me make the pistol better? I've never done anything to it except put tritium night sights on it. And I put these Packmire grips on it or actually some other ones that they wore out. So I had to buy some new ones. I really like the Packmire grips on a 1911. That's just me. So I handed it over to him and I said, uh, what can you do for me? And he said, well, what do you want? And I said, well, I'd like to have an, you know, kind of an extended uh, grip safety, um, you know, beaver tail type deal. That'd be kind of nice. And I'd like to have a, uh, an extended safety and I'd like to have an extended slide stop. And my tritium night sights are worn out. Can you put some new ones on there for me? And he said, sure, do you want me to do a trigger job? And I said, yes, please. So he swapped the trigger out and put this nice competition uh, trigger in it, skeletonized trigger. And he did all that work and I got it back and I took it to the range and I went, wow. <laughs> so now it's all tightened up, man, it's like a brand new pistol. I mean, it's still got a lot of holster wear on it, uh, and I've been shooting it quite a bit, and I thought I'd shoot it for you today. This is a pistol I'll never part with. This is one I'll leave to my son because he loves the silly thing, and I understand, and he'll get it one day. And uh, uh, that'll be a, you know, a, a kind of a story gun for him. I'll write down a story for him. I've mentioned in other videos that guns, for gun people, if you're not a gun person, you know, for a lot of families, these are heirlooms and they pass down from generation to generation. Well, this is one that has a lot of stories to it because I've carried it for many, many years. I've used it a lot. And uh, that'll be something for my son to have for, and for him to give to his kids down the road. But fortunately, other than needing to be reblued, the darn thing is in now terrific condition and it's a lot of fun to shoot. So I'm gonna stop talking about it and we'll go out and shoot it and then we'll go from there. I do really love this thing because it shoots brilliantly. Oh, let's do headshots. Isn't that fun? I love it. This thing's a joy to shoot. I mean, the trigger's beautiful. And uh, Mike Hagan did a just absolutely fabulous job on this gun. Let me grab another mag and we'll, uh, we'll hit the big yellow bottle there and see what the 45 does to the two liter. How about that? Wow, I'm thrilled. Well, let's put up a two liter. Now, as you probably already know, a 45 ACP round is like a slow moving medicine ball. <laughs> it's a gigantic round that doesn't go really fast, but let's see what it does to a two liter. Here we go. Holy smoke. <laughs> that was kind of a mess, wasn't it? I love it. 
What a joy to shoot this pistol is. I have always enjoyed shooting it, but now it's really got some cool factor associated with it. The, uh, the trigger is magnificent. The gun is a joy to shoot, uh, as it always has been, but even more so now because it's got all the cool stuff on it. I don't use it for self-defense anymore or use it you know, as, as a self-defense tool because it's an heirloom. And you know, when you, if you, God forbid you ever have to defend yourself with a gun, but if you ever do, you gotta call the police, of course, and then they're gonna come and they don't know when they get there whether you did what was right or not. They gotta figure that out. So they'll probably take the gun and book it into evidence until they determine that what you did was right. Well, in the meantime, it's sitting in there rusting or whatever, so it might get some damage. And then depending on where you live, you might never get it back. I don't want to risk an heirloom like that to defend myself. Instead, I purchase guns that are quality guns that are run very well and will get the job done, but that I don't mind handing to the police officer and know that I might not get it back. It's not going to break my heart if I don't. This one would kind of break my heart if I didn't get it back. I want to leave it to my son. And it's a terrific, terrific pistol. Now, if you don't have a 1911 and you've been thinking about getting one, I got to tell you, they're really cool and they're a lot of fun to shoot. So I encourage you to get one if you get a chance. Thank you again very much for watching my videos. I do very much appreciate it. If you happen to get out here to the P2K range, let me just tell you, this is a great place to shoot. It's the range where I teach, and I'd love to see you. So if you see me out here, I'm out here a lot, come on over and say hi. If I'm not wrapped up with a class or shooting a video or something, we could chat a while. Or for that matter, maybe we can go shoot together. That would be really cool. Please like, subscribe, there's the thing up here somewhere so that you can do that. If you subscribe, it helps us a ton in trying to grow the channel. It's super important that you do, and I really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. And share us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and all those other uh, wonderful places on the internet. There's a brand new place I found called gundistrict.com, kind of a social media place for gun lovers and stuff. I thought that was pretty cool. And if you're not a member of the National Rifle Association and you've enjoyed shoot, shooting and you enjoy watching my videos and watching other gun videos, you should be a member. And I encourage you to join. I put a link right here on the video for you to do that. If for some reason you're on a device where you don't see that link, that's okay. Just go down to the description of the video and you can click on that link down there. And that will take you to a spot on our website where you can join the National Rifle Association. It will save you 10 bucks and you can join the NRA for for a year for less than it costs you to buy one box of ammunition. You can add your valuable voice to the millions of other folks who've already joined. As you know, if you ever watch the news and you don't live in a cave, our Second Amendment rights are constantly being attacked by politicians everywhere, and the NRA is constantly fighting back, and they need your help to do so. So I urge you, please, to join. Once again, thank you very much for watching my videos. Please keep doing it, and if you haven't already subscribed, again, I ask you to do that. Be safe now. Have a great week.